Thank you for joining me for an in-depth look at our chart of the day. Today I want to look at capacity utilization. Now this is a relatively obscure economic indicator. It doesn't generally generate a lot of headlines. But if we look at this chart, we see a very clear long-term trend. If this was a stock, we might be looking for it to bottom, but we would say it's been in a downtrend now since the late 1960s. And what we see is that capacity utilization, now that's the amount of capacity in manufacturing facilities, mining and oil facilities and utilities that's being used. The concern is when it gets above about 85%, it becomes inflationary because there's not enough room to take stuff offline for maintenance and production starts to decline as we just run out of room. You can't use all of your facilities 100% of the time. So 85% has long, long been believed to be the inflationary threshold, but we haven't crossed 85% since the 19, late 1980s. What we see is the effect of some decisions. Here's NAFTA, here's China joining the World Trade Organization, and here's outsourcing. So we have a lot of unused capacity. That means we can see an increase in manufacturing, we can see an increase in industry without seeing inflation. That means the Federal Reserve probably isn't gonna raise rates as much as feared this year. Now, long-term rates could go up, but there's a variety of factors going against long-term rates other than inflation. The, Fed, the federal government is simply issuing too much debt and there's competition from um, municipalities in the debt market as well at the longer end. On the shorter end, I don't think we're gonna see as much. Here's another look that just shows how sustainable an increase in capacity utilization could be. This is the year over year percent change. And as you can see, we're just not growing very fast compared to where we were in the past. So until we see a surge in this indicator, I don't think we're going to see a surge in inflation. And until we see a surge in inflation, short-term rates are going to be locked near 2%. That's all I have for today, but thank you for joining me.